Here we go again. It's time for the PS Plus Essential lineup for the month of November 2023. The following games will be available to download from about midday on Tuesday the 7th. We have a mob classic, an asymmetric action game and a squad shooter. Let's do this. Mafia 2 Definitive Edition kicks off the month, a remastered version of the much-loved 2010 outing as we walk the streets of Empire Bay in the 1940s and 50s. This open-world gangster fest took the formula of GTA 3 and 4 and applied it to the American mobsters. The story follows Vito, who needs to pay his father's debts to secure a better life and ends up being pulled into this underworld and soon becomes an enforcer. Missions range from light-hearted driving to balls-to-the-wall gunfights with a few plot twists to add a little drama too. The story of family, loyalty and betrayal is definitely the highlight of Mafia 2. And there is an element that Mafia 2 does better than GTA 4, cover shooting, which you will need for one mission in particular. A thing to note is that this is a remaster of a 2010 game which is pretty much just a visual upgrade, as many of the OG issues are still here and it still feels like a PS3 game at times. Random fact, Mafia 2 broke the record for most profanity in a video game with 397 F-bombs dropped. Will you play Mafia 2 Definitive Edition? Next up is Dragon Ball The Breakers, an asymmetric action game where one person plays as an overpowered Dragon Ball villain who is pitted against a team of seven players who must work together to outsmart that lone warrior. A temporal seam has occurred which summons in one of many heavyweight Dragon Ball characters into this world. We don't have a chance to stand and fight them and instead must achieve multiple smaller goals while staying out of their sight. Once achieved, the group can escape or send the raider back to their own timeline. But surprisingly, a weird gacha mechanic is here which arguably makes some elements here pay to win. At least it was like that when I played about a year ago. As with many asymmetric games, playing with friends is so much better than random lobbies online. Next, a third-person shooter from the Aliens universe. Aliens Fireteam Elite is a co-op shooter designed for three players online and is set 23 years after the OG movies, as we play as a colonial marine on board the UAS Endeavour. By the way, if you decide to play alone, AI will fill the other spots in your squad, so you're never really actually alone. You'll soon be overrun by xenomorphs, as countless firefights erupt which are designed to be intense and stressful. That feeling of uncertainty does much of the heavy lifting to make this world feel alive and threatening, especially when the only light you have is a torch or flashlight in the dark. Aliens Fireteam Elite has a 10 hour campaign which is segmented into four stories and honestly is really there just to set up the crazy situations your squad is forced into. With seven classes to choose from and more than 20 weapon types, there is a lot of variation beyond that typical 10 hour playthrough. And Platinum Hunters, you should be aware that the extreme and insane difficulties of this game needed for the final trophy are incredibly difficult. But if you just want some mindless shooting with friends, Aliens Fireteam Elite is perfect. So, what are you playing this month? Happy, mad, delighted, sad? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I think I'm gonna jump back into Mafia 2. What about you? I'm Adam, you're awesome, it's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time.